Hello everyone. Imagine you have a sales report and have visual like monthly sales and sales by country as you can see on your screen. And you want to carry it other line or bar for your target sales and also want to change its value dynamically to see how your target sales look like. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can achieve this. Please stay tuned. Let us jump to the computer and proceed with the demo. So here on your screen, you can see two lines. This blue color line is my actual sales and the red color dotted line is my purposes. The below bar chart sales by country. So dark blue color my actual sales and orange one is my purposes. There is two data card. This is my actual sales and this is my purposes. Now you can see here that and this is my what if parameter and from here I can increase and decrease the percentage of my target or purpose line. If you can see I have increased by 1.83 percent and you here you can see now here you can see like you know the Mac actual sales is that for March is 3.7 and here there will be 6.8 millions and here similarly for bar chart also. For US, my uh, actual sales is 17 millions and now it will be 31 millions. From here, I can increase or decrease my purposes. So let us jump to the demo page and I will show you how you can how we can do this. So we have a similar visual here. So first thing what I'm going to do, you have to go to the modeling. And in modeling, you can see new parameter and below very small text what and if. So you have to click here to add the what if slicer. So if you click here, then you can see the like, you know, pop up window kind of thing. Here you can give the name of the parameter. I will say sales target. Sales target. I want a decimal number. And I will say my minimum value is 0 0.01. And here I want a 10 only and increment by 0 0.01. And my default will be also 0 0.01. OK, and I will click OK. Once I will click OK. Here you will see dicer is added on your page. So let me bring it here. and increase the size and here you can see the target cells target cells table is added here so it has a it has a column says target if you want to see here how it look like it look like this so now in my data table you can see this is the column cells is there so in within the target cells i will add a one major here from in target cells. So herein I will go in modeling and I will add a new major. So now my new major is added and this I will here I will give name. Target. Sales amount. Now what I'm going to do, I will use a DAX function sum X. This is my data table. This is my data table where the my sales column is there. Now I will say. Training. Column name, so I will use a sales. And now after that I'll put a multiplication and I will say. Else. Target and I will sales target and sales target value. Now I will close the bracket. OK, now you can see here that I have added one major. So now I will select this visual. After selecting this visual, I will add this here. Once I will add this here, I can see there one target line. Let me add it here also. So sell some out. 
OK, now what I'm going to do. And I will add it here also. Sales amount. This is my or you can rename it. Only target sales I will say. Here I will also rename it as a target sales only. Here I will also rename it as a target sales. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I will go here in the line. In the line I will select the target cells and I will say my dotted line and I will reduce the thickness. And I will change the color of the line also the red color or some some orange color. OK. And here I will also do the same thing. The column in the column I will say. Red color, let's go now from here I will increase. So now I increase by 0.52%. So I have increased by 1.0%. Now you can see I have increased by 1.45%. So after increasing a 1.45%, 1, 1 you can see that my in March my actual sales was uh, 3.7 million. Now it will be uh, 5.3 million. Similarly for country wise, you can see the 17 million actual sales. And now it will be 25 million and you can in the total also you can see like you know the max my actual sales was 28.49 million. If I want to increase by 1.45%, so it should be a 41.32%. So from here you can increase and decrease as I explained you earlier. So from here increase, decrease anything you can do. So hope it will be useful for your report. That's all for this video. Need your help to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.